Hi guys, welcome back to episode 9 of my sorcery build. And uh, it's time for the big boss time. What we're going to do first is ember up. And that'll put us out at full and give us a little boost. Summon signs are usually in this area if people want to help you. Um, I find that summon signs around here are very sparse. There's usually not many. Let's just keep out at Rhoda Doris. We don't want to aggro her. I do help other people with this boss, but online players. They don't seem to uh, like this boss too much. It is a melee type boss. Okay, I won't be using magic. I'll be using heal of course. If I need it. But Has she gone? See if there's any summon signs out here. Can help anybody? No. Nope. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take out one of the red eyed mobs first and then start on the tree. I find it's best not to rush this boss, take your time, quite slow it is, so take your time <coughs> and uh, go in take some shots at it, puff sacks and then get yourself out of there do what you need to do, just recuperate and then go back in again you'll see on the tree that there's some like uh, puff sacks especially between its legs uh, that's when it almost has started its disease between its legs so I don't know what it's been doing I'm not interested in taking between its legs out straight away uh, you'll take so many Puss sacks out and then they'll jump up in the air, land on the floor and the floor will give way and will drop into that cavern. And then there'll be no other mobs, just just be me and tree. But if you take out the the puss sacks between what were that? Oh, some summon signs. If you take out the puss sacks between his legs too soon, then uh, it makes you to deal with his hand when you actually go to the pit. Right. Looks like these guys get a chance to get some souls. He's quite easy to check out on yourself by the way. Okay. Uh, you don't worry me this boss. In fact not many bosses do. <coughs> this one it's just text time. It's text time. And uh, And just take it nice and steady. Is the other guy coming? Give him a chance. And here we go. Okay, so kick it going. I don't think there's a cutscene on this one. Like I said, this one's got red eyes here. I'm going to take him out first. And then we're going in on tree now. Okay, so there's a push sack on his hand here. These many people, all these these helping. You've just got to make sure you. Do it well. okay, so that's all his puss sacks gone. He's got some puss sacks on his back. That's my next target. Oh, I'm going to do a roll back here now. See how he goes forward. 
you gotta be careful of that. Stay away from the hand. Or the claw. The claw. Okay, then roll back. I've done any damage on these full sack need to back. Come on! Be careful with the roving mob. And he's gonna take the screen. Yep, yep, here we go. So we're gonna have no roaming mobs now. It's just us against him. Okay, so it's time to do his push back between his legs. Got to watch out for the hand. It's important that the horse keeps living, especially his tool. So I'm gonna land the ones that work. I know it's bad of me. Come on. No, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll. Right, his claw, his hand is on the his left hand side, here he comes. So it's better to stay. <laughs> better to stay on his left, if possible. If you hit his hand, get out of here. If you hit his hand, you hurt him more than if you hit his hand here. Careful of that. Poison. Back out. One more into this guy. Can I get killing blow? Yeah. Maybe not. And there we go. And a great big thanks to these two guys. Because to be honest, they did most of the work here. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, we're back in this cabin that we were in when we went to Mom Makers. But this time, there is a, a bonfire. From that, we got the transposing kill and killing that boss. Right, so we'll do some leveling up. Welcome home, I should speak that very well. Then Tut Hagen. Not a penny more in Strem. Him for giving me intelligence to twenty. Farewell, Ashen. Give the ashes to the unmaiden. Ah, well, how may I? Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> what the do is it lets you, it gives you more choice of items to uh, purchase. Also, when we kill a, an invading NPC, their items are also be sold by a maiden. Ashen one. Such as the gear they wear. Be sure to bring. Right. Grey Rat. Saint Grey Rat, he should be talking to us now. He might have to go on a, a, a an adventure. Oh, hello, you're back and in one piece. What, what is it? Have you changed your mind? Oh. I'm ready to go thieving at a moment's notice. Just give me Just the give word. Just give me the word. Right, send him to go. Thank you. 
You will not be disappointed. When you send him... Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Yeah, sure. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. Do I like yeah, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> right. Goodbye. I when you send him, he's going to come back with uh, more items that you can buy. You can send him once and you've no need to worry about him. Send him the second time and you need to progress either patches or what's it called now? Sigward quest line so he's in the same area as Grey Rat so they can protect him. If you don't he won't come back and he'll die. If you send him the third time he will die, so don't send him third time. Let's see if we can draw a strength out, seeing as we've died. Oh, I would... No, we can't. Be we're safe. Die once. You can draw all these out straight away by killing yourself. And that's easy to do, just... Climb up on some of these things and just jump down and die. Right, transposing kill, we'll go talk to... This guy sat on prone. You don't need to go in front of him if you stand properly where it kangles is. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. Yep. For I am a lord, and this is my feet. He had any feet. Right, so we're going to get killed. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seeing better days, but. Methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferreth to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? So what it means, all that shit is, you go and kill a boss, and it drops a soul, you fetch it back here, and you begin trans... Well, just go to that option, and with them souls you can get various things, such as these. That's quite a nice ring for one of the bosses. In Cathedral. <laughs> Because there's like lots of monks in cathedral guarding one of the bosses and as you're killing them, as you're eating them, you get elves going back up. So it's really good that ring for that. In fact, I'm going to use it and just get that one. Okay, so as you can see that use, that use dog one. Bought it, now it used uh, beginning one. And you could have got that weight as well, but now it's greyed out. That's the tree one. Nothing that I want there. Now, 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 now. now. Right. Last thing we have to do in this area is we've given Ash to a maiden. She will now sell a sewer key. Oh, ha. This sewer key there, or grave key. Right. Yeah, to undead settlement sewer. This key won't appear until you've gave her the mashes. You don't have to take the boss out, but you have to get the mashes and give it to her. So we're going to buy that. Ashen yep, one. Be sure. be sure to fetch your more souls. I got to bridge. I'm going to go through the sewer. I'm going to go uh, free the cleric. You can use spells to cheese them, or you can use yaras. Be 
be another one, yeah. You could have done a, a leaping attack on him if you wanted. I don't know why it's setting shot miss then. He come in? Eh, nah, he's not coming. No? Bit scared. Go ahead, bite. A bit cheesier for you. Come on. There you go. Go join your brother and sister. Okay, so we use key. And in we go. Right. <coughs> we'll go this way first. Make sure the skeleton's not being. Drop here. Now this statue. You can re request absorption. And you can request the solution. Okay. It should say we're okay, I think. You have not sinned, which means I ain't killed, uh, been and invaded anybody and killed them. And this is reversing your hollowing, which we don't want to do. So that one, say you uh, went around killing maidens and NCPs and Pete and that that's what you'd use it for right onward and upward you, we, we're going to see some skeletons that like a pile of bones and the form up and uh, you kill them and then they'll drop to ground and some might form up again what you do is you watch your souls if it adds numbers to your souls you know they're dead if it don't you know they're going to come back to life okay right first platform there that's going to be a first one it did add souls so we know it's not going to come back to life we're going to take this other platform one out Again, added souls. <coughs> Depending on how far you go in this room, there's two to three here. Trying to not pull everything at once. <coughs> Do the dance with it. Again, added souls. And that's this room cleared. Okay, there's a like a passageway here. Be very careful, you see that you'll go running and attacking it. You're gonna get a, a skeleton popping up on your right hand side, and also you're gonna get this skeleton here that's on floor popping up. Delivery don't pop up yet, because it's trying to trap you. Okay, so just edge for it until you see it forming and then go back and kick its ass and be careful of that one it's going to do a diving attack like that just move out of row when it does that you can see it telegraphing it so it holds its sword back and winds up ok 
Okay, that's this room done. Right, should be a dog. A lizard there. Now this lizard, when you chase it, it's going to run over into that top corner to where that guy wait. Uh, you can just see him up there, that guy with big pot in his hand and it's going to drop down and wallop you. So we need to not make it run into that corner. That's it. And it's still heading there. So we're going to take it out. Get ready for guy dropping on you. Not what we can do about it. Just get away from it as quick as possible. Great while he attacks. Come on, another spell. Like that. He's going to go down. Okay. Pick his drops up. Hmm. Okay, so uh, that's where they came. Rats time. These rats will keep coming no matter what. So we're just gonna go in, get us drop, and go up them ladders. If you wanted to farm them, you could do. Just stop the other. Just keep coming all the time. And here's the cleric. Don't kill her. Oh, who is there? Yep. Someone yep, there. Big bag of red Anyone? Ball. Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch <coughs> me. So she wants me to touch her. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures. They never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand. She me. might just my mind, but I think there's quite some suggestive comments that some of these NCPs do such a trial link try touch the dark soul within me or something, touch the darkness within me and they're asking you to touch her. She's blind by the way. Oh, As yes, you can see I'm not touching her. Are. So close. Not getting me to sexual harassment. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. So talk to her again. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Accept the services? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Okay. Go back to Violin Shrine. Cut me a nice T-bone steak. Medium rare. Some nice diced onions and some chili on top. And that'll be fine.
I don't want to crap small steak on the big steak. Hey, this is his guardian. Or oh, her guardian. Talk to him. You've yep. gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying it's creatures that are beyond are. help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon. Egon. A knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And yep, only for it. that long. So, free now we're going to get access to uh, cleric spells. And also we get this guy's help on some bosses. So it all mixes in, all different side quests mix in. And if you don't complete side quests, there's a good 15% of game missing. You don't need to do every one, but you know, it's nice just to get the game completed. And they're so intricate and you can easily miss them and, and go out of sync and it just completely collapses a side quest that you do need to know what you're doing. And luckily enough, I'm here to show you what you what to do. So stick with me and you'll see nearly all side quests. What's the matter? Yeah, we'll talk My terms people, are very simple. Chill. I am allied to you for as long okay, as you I'll assure the you. girl's safety. And only for that long. Yeah. Thank you very <laughs> much. Right, so this is this area completed now. To get to the next area, we use the lift. Now, is the lift set to go down or is it set to go up? It's set to go down, that's good. Okay, we have one more mob to kill before we can get to the next area. It has got freeze, frostbite, whatever it is on it. These are way a cheap shot in it. You can run it into here and go up that lift and it'll kill its send dropping down lift. If worst comes to worst. Leave the drop, don't be enticed by it, drop. Okay, get focus off it. See if it's going to follow us. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. It's not the fastest thing. Come here. Oh, you. Thank you. You come in. Come on, you come through here. I think it's jarred on wall. Yeah. Nice. Come on. Watch what soul's going up and you know it's dropped out me. I didn't see him go up though. We must be careful. <laughs> Not a bad sword, that. Let's 
lots of stats on it. And we'll go for the next area. Pick this drop up. And this is where we're going to leave it. Hope you found it useful or enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, we'll resume next time and we'll start exploring this area. Thank you for watching. If you've liked it, please hit that like button. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.